Hi, welcome to another video short in the Calculus for All video series. And today we're going to look at uh, another instantaneous rate of change example. And more specifically, this is example three. And in this, uh, in this example, we're going to be dealing with a function f of x, which equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. And our goal is to determine an equation that provides the instantaneous rate of change at any point x. That is, we will use our limit definition and evaluate that limit, and it should provide us with an equation in terms of x, such that if we substitute a value in for x, we will actually determine the instantaneous rate of change at that value at x, or the so for the tangent line at that value of x. So let's have some fun. Let's first pop up our definition of the instantaneous rate of change, which is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And because we want to provide our equation in terms of x, we'll just leave x inside this expression. So I've highlighted in blue just to emphasize. And I'm going to use algebra, and I'm going to substitute x plus h into the expression, and then leave x in the expression and subtract those two. So let's look at our algebra. Notice how I'm very careful with brackets. I'm surrounding specific uh, uh, terms with brackets, trying to make sure that I don't make an algebra mistake specifically when I do the, subtra the subtraction. So let me expand out the, the terms. Now, you're, you may have recognized that this limit is an indeterminate form. So if you had put h equals 0 right away, you would get that 0 over 0. And I still get that 0 over 0. So just as a reminder, we're just rearranging so that we can somehow get an expression where we can divide out the term that goes to zero, that is h. So hopefully we'll get an expression at some point where the h in the numerator and the h of the denominator will cancel out. And lo and behold, we got it in the next line. So uh, let's just cancel out our h in the denominator, and that will take out each h in every term in the numerator. So the, those guys go. Let me just house clean that. Since we've removed the indeterminacy of the, of the expression, let's now allow h to go to zero. And voila, we have obtained our expression 4x plus 3. Now, the advantage of working through all this algebra to, to determine an, uh, an expression or an equation in terms of x that gives us our instantaneous rate of change is that we can use this expression to tell us some cool stuff about the original function. Remember, the instantaneous rate of change gives us the slope of the tangent line to our original function at any point x. So we can determine when the slope is positive, which means the graph is going up. We can even determine when the slope is zero, which means the graph is going horizontal because there's no change, or even when the slope is, is negative when the graph is going down. In other words, if we determine where 4x plus 3 is positive, the graph is going up. Where 4x plus 3 equals 0, the graph is going horizontal. Or where 4x plus 3 is negative, the graph is going down. And we could determine every point of x where these things occur. So this instantaneous rate of change in terms of the variable is a very powerful tool that we'll use later on. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching.